Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sun, Moon and Rising Geminis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a wonderful, wonderful year. Happy New Year to each and every person. I'm sorry for the lateness of the reading, but I really wanted to get these out on the first day and do these readings for the first day of January 2020. Uh, 17 wow isn't this a beautiful year yes it is it's going to be a wonderful year for you Gemini's please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign because you will receive more information from your Sun moon and rising energies um, please remember to go back and listen to your year reading and your monthly reading of January as I look at this week, this week has the energy vibration of the Eye Princess. This is a wonderful week for the Eye Princess and for all of you Geminis because what's happening here is that a lot of new beginnings are coming in for you Geminis and this is wonderful. Um, you know, what I have here is that we have uh, the energies of... Uh, um the um your focus um for this week you will have the queen of sword in reverse so you gemini's i'm not sure what's happening to the women out there but you're actually in the reverse position so your focus is going to be the queen of sword which is your energy in the reverse position so something is happening to you guys out there it doesn't really matter what's happening it's a new year things are about to change for you guys remember that in life um, these things do happen but yet still um, accept what is going on this month is going to be the month of justice uh, you're in the reverse so if uh, you women had uh, um, something in the legal system or in um, conflicts of men with other people you are in the reverse form that mean you won't be winning this legal system so be aware of this energies because um, you need to understand that life is full of surprises but yet still you also need to understand that not all the times you win it is a month of karmic but also of um, cosmic justice so your focus is going to be the queen of sword being reversed which is your energy um, you ladies you Gemini's out there there's something that you were in a conflicts and that sort of a thing you're in in reverse but we will see the reason why as we go further in the readings as we look at the energy on Monday we have the seven of swords and this is wonderful because you are an air element you are um, an element that vibrates and use the energy of the sword which is the sword is always the inner conflicts and you in your head and your Gemini so you're always in your head you're always trying to figure out things and that sort of a thing whenever the seven of sword comes up it is a time when you are so in your head but the seven of sword energy is coming up so your focus is a queen of swords in reverse so it has a significant role to play in this on Monday so whatsoever is happening you have got the seven of sword this is upright be aware of these energies that are going on Monday is going to be a day of um, rest for you because whenever the seven of sword comes up it's more of an inner liquor conflicts conflicts with yourself and with things around you that you want to bring to balance in your life so be aware of this energy on Monday as we look at Tuesday we have the energy of uh, the claver of Pentacles I'm loving the claver of Pentacles this is a new deck which I've, 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 I've um, found I am I love this deck because it portrayed so much different 
things going on that has an effect on each and every person so not every um, Gemini will have this itself the same effect because some people will have situation with work some people will have situation with um, conflicts with other people and um, a soul um, situation things that is going on so on Tuesday you have the energy of the clave of Pentacles the clave of Pentacles we should see him as someone coming to you bringing you messages about financial situation okay it can be financial situation for some people but it can also be the situation that you have to deal with on Monday with the seven of sword so be aware of these energies that are coming in on Mondays and Tuesday because there is a message that is coming up as we look at Wednesday we have the energy of the hate of sword so obviously you Gemini's are having a situation that is very conflicting because you're not seeing this situation clearly and whenever you're not seeing a situation clearly you are um, conflicted you're not you know and there you know the energy of this female sitting and she's very conflicting about what is going on you know so it can be some people looking back at their financial situation um, how much they have given out for the Christmas pe period because this is January you are you know looking at um, what's happening for you and then you will realize and see that you're a bit confused over certain things so this can be a financial situation but yet still this can be situations that's happening around you that uh, have to do with um, financial situation with groups so it says your insurance company uh, new insurance you know it could be different things that you have accomplished in your life and this is going to happen to you in the first three days so on Wednesday when the eight of a uh, sword comes up it's conflicting information that is coming into you and it's information that is um, not really clear as we go forward and we look there's a lot of sword energies we have the nine of swords which is a lot of worries coming up for you guys you are going to use the energy of the nine of sword to release yourself of these energies uh, of worries okay nine of swords eight of swords um, on Thursday you have the nine of swords which meaning that you're worried about the situation that is going on and the universal angels is trying to tell you not to worry because worry doesn't help ask for help ask the universal angels for help because when you sit here and worry about this situation it's not going to help you you in an, um, absolutely no way you need to start making changes in your life uh, you know on, on, on a different level as I look at Friday you have the ten of swords coming up and honestly people I just shuffle these cards and I pull the energies and this is what you have so you have the seven of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and now the ten, the eight of the seven of swords. I'm sorry, seven of swords, the uh, eight of swords, and the nine of swords. And now you have the ten of swords. And the ten of swords is when you're being stabbed in the back, and uh, you know. So there is obvious the situation that is going on because. Uh, um, the energy of the Queen of Swords is in reverse. So as I've said, whatsoever that you had with legal system, conflicts of interest and that sort of a thing, you will realize that uh, um, with this situation, um, there is going to be a lot of conflicts and a lot of problems um, coming your way. But, you know, the sword energies are here helping you guys because you are Gemini's. So what you need to learn to do in this week from Monday until Friday, um, it's obviously a situation that has to do with money. It's obviously a situation that has to do with your financial situation, but yet still um, your earthly needs because um, there is it's like a messenger coming to you, um, bringing you news about some situation that is not clear. So 
you know, as I look at Monday with the seven of swords, use the seven of swords um, situation to try and figure out what exactly is going on. Because a lot of people, these are conflicts, conflicting things that are going on. These are situations that yeah, is yeah. going on that you're not aware of and you're trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. What is so beautiful about your reading is that on Saturday, you have the energy of the Eight of Pentacles. And this is good. This is good because you have the energy of the Eight of Pentacles coming in on Saturday. This is wonderful because that means that you're working on something that is going to bring financial abundance to yourself. And maybe you have started something, you're not seeing it move on, you're worried, you're thinking that people don't like it, you're thinking the worst on Friday. But on Saturday, the Eight of Pentacles comes in and it's going to show you that financial abundance is going to come in if you just keep on working on what you're working on. As we look at Sunday, we have the Nine of Pentacles and these or this energy is a gift of money coming into you guys so this is wonderful because I was like when is this energy going to change for you guys so whatever as I've said is something about financial situation and some people that has a lawsuit and even if you didn't win it in the sense you would like to win it you are going to have a financial financial situation coming out for you which is just so beautiful so I am saying to you guys whatever that situation that is whatever conflicting things that was going on clarity is going to come out in the end of the week because you have the energy of the eight of Pentacles and the ten the, the nine of Pentacles and I'm loving these two and honestly I <laughs> I shuffle these cards but this is good for you guys so whatever your worries is whatever is going on in your life whether and this is more a week of worrying about financial situation so you Gemini's are worrying about financial situation it's like as if the month has started you have given out so much uh, maybe someone has realized that too much they have given out so much and maybe um, they've returned gifts and they haven't received the funds back or whatsoever is going on but in the weekend that um, financial assistant that you need will come in this is the energy of the weekend eight of Pentacles and the nine of Pentacles so this is wonderful for you guys in whatever way you look at it it's going to be beautiful what I should say about your week, as I look at your week, um, the number eight, infinity. And as you see, the beginning of this week, the beginning of this year, the number eight, financial abundance is going to be one of the energies that is going to carry you out throughout this year. So the number eight energies, you should work with the number eight. And the number nine energy is also air twice. The number eight, the number nine is air twice so um with the people who work with numbers number eight and number nine is going to be extremely prominent and yet still you have the number one energy so some people will have in new beginnings some people will realize that financial abundance is going to come in their life and some people are going to be at the end of um, um dramatic situation situation that has been happening in your life so as we break down this reading and we look at it from the energy of um, you on a personal um, note, you as a person, some people will have the effect of um, not having clarity over a situation in their life that has to do with financial situation. You have absolutely no clarity. Some people will have a situation with a clavo. Of Pentacles which is a child this clavier of Pentacles is more it, it's the picked here um, of a man but this this energy is between someone who is between the ages of um, 16 and 21 okay so some people will have a situation 
with a young person who is uh, um, maybe it's your son maybe it's your grandson maybe you know that uh, this person have a situation um, financial situation that has an effect of your situation this can be for some people out there so be aware of what energies is coming in this can be the energy also of someone you're um, in when you look at the love um, aspect and with friendship you could have a friendship with this person who has uh, um, borrow money from you and haven't returned this money to you and um, this is so insignificant to having an effect of you but also have an effect of you mentally and there is a lot of energy from your mental thought that is coming in and to see the eight of Pentacles the nine the eight of sword to see the eight of sword on on Wednesday that there is no clarity there's something going on with your financial situation something going on in your life and there is no clarity and it has to do with the club of Pentacles so you know it's as if some people were waiting on money and they haven't heard anything and um, you're wondering is, is it going to come through or something was supposed to transfer to you you haven't seen it it is January maybe um, uh, you have ended your contract with people and you're supposed to be paid out you haven't seen it and you're worried about it so the whole week has to do with the mental energy of you worrying this is the energy on Wednesday which is the energy of the eight of Pentacles that means there is no clarity as to whatsoever is going on followed by Thursday with the nine of sword the nine of sword and then on Friday we have the ten of sword so as you look in this in the first week for you um, Gemini it has to do with a lot of financial financial situation that you are so worried about but as the weekend comes in you have the eight of Pentacles and the nine of Pentacles which is just so fantastic and this is good because in the weekend you will realize and you will get this message from the clavier of Pentacles to let you know that this message of money financial abundance will be coming in your life so expect because the eight of Pentacles is that you're working on something so some people will have the energy that you're working on something you were worried about this this clavert of Pentacles and you are working on something in the business sense you're working on something with this person and you're worried is it um, the right decision and on Wednesday you know you have the eight of 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 of, of uh, the eight of sword because you're you're conflicted about what's happening with this person here and 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 you know with the project or um, it can be a, a, a someone who is a boss of uh, um, it can be that you have ended the year at a company and you're waiting for your payouts to come in and you haven't seen it but just keep on going at it and stop the mental action because whatsoever worry you send out to the universe that is what is going to come back to you and what you're doing is actually worrying about something that is happening so be aware of this energy and what's happening as we look at the other side you know it's 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 about you know as we look we have two nines and you know you're worried you're worried you're so worried this nine of sword is worried and and, and the and the nine and the and a nine of Pentacles comes in on Sunday so again you have no reason to be worried okay no reason to be worried the worries that you're having about your financial situation release it because on Sunday the nine of Pentacles is going to come in and going to support you so open up to these energies and understand what is going on because it's going to be okay as I look at this uh, from a love aspect some people are having um, financial 
you know, you and your partner, or there's something that is affecting you with your partner that you're starting to wonder, you know, is this partner right for me? Whatsoever that is going on. And life is full of surprises. Honestly, people, life is full of surprises, but don't let the energy vibration of love affect who you are as a person because obviously something is going on here in the love section with the females out there and also with your financial situation this week is as prominent and as strong female energies for you guys so this week a lot of stuff is going to affect the gemini females because there is this week is the week of the intuition but yet still you have so many female energies in your reading this is a message for all the females out there that things is going to be okay stop worrying your financial situation is going to be good um open up the end to the energies frag the universe um it you're vibrating in a month of the hair energies which is uh, um justice so ask your guides and angels to release you of this worries use these sword energies uh, to um, really release you out of this form of energies and you're going to realize that things is going to be okay i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um um this is a wonderful week to start to learn to change your thought pattern and i want to say namaste until next week